Hey, good morning, friends. We're in Acts 26 today, again looking at Paul as he moves closer to Rome and the people that uh, he encounters and gives his testimony, the story of the gospel to. And uh, again, we see a different response today out of King Agrippa. King Agrippa runs the whole region, not just Israel, but all of the Middle East region. He shows up in Caesarea again, and Festus wants him to hear Paul's story. So Paul, again, in Acts 26, gives his story, his testimony, and Agrippa, in verse 28, says something that maybe sounds a little too close to home when it comes to what we would say. He turns to Paul and he says, Paul, do you think you can convince me to be a Christian so easily? Like, Paul, do you think I'm just going to listen to your testimony and then believe? Do you think I'm going to give my life to Jesus that quickly? And the fact is, I'll just say it for me, probably was true for you. Most of us, when we give our lives to Jesus, we take a while to get there. Maybe that's not so bad. Maybe we want to test it. Maybe we want to check it out. Maybe we want to see if the facts are there. But most of the time, at least for me, I just delayed. And delay is the world's acceptable form of disobedience. Delay is the world's acceptable form or practice of disobedience. We think it's okay to delay. I mean, Appropriately so. If you're being tempted, you want to delay and think through this before you make a bad decision. But when it comes to the commands of God, God is not accepting of our delay. He wants action. And when he gives us a story and he gives us the truth, he wants us to be humble enough to act. See, you can measure your pride or your humility by the amount of time it takes for you to take action on a command. That shows what level of humility you have when it comes to God or when it comes to my relationship with God. So today, I want to ask you, what are you delaying about? What are you holding back on? What are you just a little, it's not ready, you're just not ready to take action on it? I'm telling you, it's a form of disobedience and it's an example of pride and it could be robbing you of a blessing. Pride waits. Humility acts. Don't delay. Obey. God bless you as you continue to study with me. We'll be again in Acts chapter 27 tomorrow as we look at another character. See you then.